This is Truck and Logistics Simulator, a game about trucking and logisticking. Released by Simulator Games on the 30th of November, they were kind enough to give me a key so I could check it over and review it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. You start off the game in this cool little Citroen Berlingo or whatever they call it in the game, you know, copyright and all that sort of stuff. But you have loads of options of vans you can pick and cars, even like cars you can pick. There's actually more than just one option as well. Oh my God, is that a Range Rover? Damn, I wonder how they got the idea to make this exact car, hmm? And a little spoiler, but maybe at the end of the video, we can uh, hop into, I don't know, Maybe this old thing? Th there's just one of these, right? There's no other other vehicles. There's just one other vehicle. They couldn't even categorize this because it's an absolute monster. Um, I do have the facility to get access to this right now because they were kind enough to give me a uh, quote-unquote influencer version of the game. But I want to take a look at what you will see when you first boot up the game. So the only vehicle you should be able to purchase, I think, with your 12,000 bucks, yeah, is uh, this little Citroen type van. So we're going to purchase it without even test driving it. I'm going to hop straight into it. Oh, this is where I can select all the missions, but I won't do that. Um, yeah, so we'll just drive it. I literally want to play the game as if you are playing it on day one. Okay, so we spawn in. Uh, how do we... Oh, we have to start engine. Wow, you actually have to like start that engine. And then I think uh, get a mission from the logistics center. They're visible in the minimap as green circles. Oh, there's one right there. Logistics Center, can we do a J-turn? Uh, kinda, but my mum won't be happy that this... Oh, the steering is weird. It's a simulator though, so I guess it's like that. But when you, um, like, steer, it doesn't snap back. Anyway, uh, okay, so we have a bunch of deliveries we can be making here. We've got caravans, we have... Is that like a jet wash or something? I don't know. Um, it doesn't say what it is. It just kind of displays it as an image. So we're going to probably just go for a caravan first. Sure. How long is that drive, actually? That's that's one thing we're interested in as well. Um, it is... Sorry, does that say 6,000 meters or miles? I'm, I'm sure that's meters, right? So six kilometers, right. And you get paid... None, wait, how much are we getting paid? Yeah, six grand? Jeez. All right, let's select it. Let's get going. So they don't make this game easy. Of course, is this... It? Oh, I didn't, I didn't actually turn the car off, but it's... It's turned off anyway. Let's uh, bump up the curb here. Ugh! And which one do I go for? Oh, the arrow's, the arrow's pointing towards it. There's no way I can miss that. All right, backing up. I wonder how this game fares for, with a steering wheel. Now, I have, I do have like a full... I'm just guessing... Okay, so I, I'm playing with an Xbox controller. So uh, the, the prompts that's given me in the bottom right there are for the keyboard because that's what I've got it set to in the settings. That's, uh, that's bad on my part, I guess. All right. Let's get this delivery underway. Whoa, it's going to take some getting used to this steering. And I guess for simulation purposes, we can stop at red lights. But I mean, you don't have to because I'll obviously edit that out. No one wants to watch me sit at a red light. All right. Can I change the view? Oh, yes. Simulation view. That's This is what we need. Oh, oh wow. Then the mirror. The, wait, the mirrors are actually very well aligned. Now, I don't know if, if I'm like able to like compare this game to other games but like the likes of euro truck simulator should we say um i guess it's going to give off the same vibe except obviously we have a much wider variety of vehicles should i say like euro truck simulator is literally about trucks whereas truck and logistics simulator is about trucks and other logistical vehicles wow we are absolutely hooning it down the motorway. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it in a straight line, but because I'm going so fast, I'm like completely unable to. But can we overtake a Prius? Uh, I'm trying with a caravan uphill. Yes. Okay, this game has my stamp of approval strictly because it allows you to absolutely annihilate Priuses or Prii. How do you what's what's the plural for Prius? And a Mercedes. We're gonna overtake this Mercedes as well. Oh, okay. Oh wait, I think I made it stop. Oh, well. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Just less people on the road. Catching up with this van, who is another logistical friend of mine, actually, this van. What we could maybe do is we could switch into a new vehicle. We could do... Yeah, let's do two deliveries in this, and then let's switch into a big van and do two deliveries in that as well. I think that'll be fun. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, that was tight. <laughs> I might be going... Mate, 126 kilometers an hour. 
Oh, sorry, Van. Sorry. Oh, my God. Okay, we had an accident. Does that matter? There's a little bit of damage to my van, I think. On the right-hand side, we can see that. But the van is actually looking still nice and spick and span. So, we're good. We won't take a 20 repair shop. She'll be fine. Oh, going down here as well. Kind of scary. Clip the edge there. Racing line. Whoa. I don't even know if that was the racing line. I'm not a race car driver. I lied. Wow, look at this city. Damn. This looks cool. Um, Do we have like a map? Icon? Oh, we do, but we don't know the city name. Do we? Can I like scroll out? Does it give me like a name of where we are? No, but it is still... Okay. And there's all these options here for, I guess, uh, if you mock up. Time speed, time of day, time speed. What does that mean? Oh, let's, let's leave the settings alone. Oh, wow, that's easy. So this, you know, controls what time of day it is, how fast the time changes and that time of day. Wow. Imagine asking that question. All right. Oh, the... Okay. Weird thing to notice, but the noise of the squeaking brakes was cool. I'm actually terrible at driving at this. I think I'm actually better in this view. I don't know why. You know what? Oh, oops. <laughs> Imagine saying that, like, you're... Oh, I'm better at driving this view. Immediately crashing. That was not... That was not scripted, should I say. Okay, another red light here. That's all right. Don't mind a red. Gives me time to check my map. Check my check out my vehicle, I guess. Okay, we've got a lot of cargo space back there. Oh, screen. And I love the dash, man. Very like, I mean, just a Euro car, I guess. Oh, fuel is almost on empty. That's something I didn't really. Uh. Oh wow, we have a road diversion thing. Oh, this is testing me a little bit, isn't it? What country are we supposed to be in here? Oh, oh, oh! I hit over a cone. That's, or like, a, is that what that is? What a long a tube cone? I don't know what it's called. Oh, it's telling me to put on my headlights with L. Ah! Almost crashed. <laughs> my bad. Sorry. And then we want to deliver just here. Now, do we have a specific way we have to deliver and just drive into it like this? Okay, yeah, we do. But it's fine. We can drive in like this. And screw. Uh, cargo damage twenty seven percent. That's a little bit embarrassing. Do they not know that I'm trying to make a video on this? Like. How do I, uh, hey, message to the dev. How, how do I delete this in my YouTube video that makes me look professional, please? All right, so what are these other things on the map? There's this, like, light blue icon. Is that, what is that? Let's have a look. Oh, I think it's just more cargo. Oh, it's cargo. What is that? Does that, like, allow me to, like, buy a caravan or something? No, it's just another cargo thing. Cargo broom? Okay, let's do whatever this is. I'm 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 intrigued as to what this is. Uh and where does it want to go? Okay, and it wants to go somewhere that we haven't already been. I like that. So I, I think this is like a karcher thing. I don't really know what that is. Or like uh it's like an engine, it's got something that you feed into it, maybe. I suppose I should be like a, a you know I don't know if you know the film Transporter. Oh, yep. Yeah. I was going to say I should be more like him, but... Ah, my God, I'm literally not even supposed to, like, doing this on purpose. Okay. Uh, switch view. It, it's just much easier in this interior view, I think, to drive. You know one thing I've noticed? In the interior view, the steering wheel snaps back. Whereas, uh, in third person, it doesn't. Maybe... No, it literally does. Or, like, it snaps back better than I... Than I... Oh! Okay. Okay, I may have been not focusing on the road as much. Oh my god, my car is just, like, broken? Oops. Sorry. Sorry, police. Mate, the police are literally there, like, looking at me do that. Well, at least it didn't damage my trailer, I guess. Let's pick it up. Now, the best thing about interior view is it hides the damage and we don't have to look at it. It doesn't, like, hide the fact that the damage is actually there and that it may have... Oh, wow, we can't turn right properly. Yeah, the car is actually damaged. Uh, which could be a problem uh, for my upgrade because, uh, yeah, they said to... I can't see the light either. Oh, it is. That's green, but so's the green. The man is green. Careful, pedestrians. Um. Yeah, look, it's. I'm not steering right now. It's pulling to the right, which I like. Dynamic damage. You know, it's, it's kind of you know who doesn't. 
Driving through like a town at night as well is actually beautiful in this game. I don't even know what my graphic settings are actually. I didn't check. Oh, look, an Audi. Hey! Get road rage at just everyone just for being present. We, we all know someone that does that, right? I literally know a guy that just gets angry at people just for driving while he's driving. It's just not on. It's good. Look over there at the light. Uh, hope that no one notices my... Da oh, you can't see my damage really in the dark. That's cool. Well, you definitely can. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just driving through the country lanes here, absolutely enjoying myself, and I peep down and see that my fuel light's flashing, and I have no idea where the next petrol station is, or if there even is a petrol station nearby. Um, but I'm just going to soldier on, and I guess uh, we'll either make it to the destination, or see what happens when you run out of fuel. Oh my god. Yeah, just head on with the truck there. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Okay, so this car is kind of economic, I'm not going to lie. She's been sitting on, like, almost empty for a while now. I say a while, less than, like, a mile, but still. Well, we've got some beautiful winding roads coming up as well. But it is dark. I mean, I could just change the time of day, but, hey. We want the real, the real effect of the game here. Up until we just magically upgrade to a van. All right, we've arrived in a gloomy, scary um, part of town. What are we dropping off? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's something for a building site, I guess. Uh, can we just drive it in? Or do they need me to... Oh, no. They need me to reverse. Uh-oh. What, what just happened? Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go on the exterior view. I'm actually not too bad at reversing, to be honest. I've never reversed a trailer in real life. Fun fact about me. I've been driving for so long as well. Oh, my God. Don't want to talk about it. All right, let's go backwards. We're going to go slowly. I'm going to make you watch all of this. So um, I'll tell you what, there's a timestamp on the screen now. You can skip ahead to when it's done. Or maybe it's not because, you know, I never did it. No, I did. There you go. Bam. Oh, my God. Only 10% cargo damage. Maybe in editing we can blur that out or something so it doesn't look so... Oh, my God. No cargo damage. Wow. That's like just enough money for me to get a new car, right? Now, another thing you can do in this game is you can customize your vehicles as well. Currently customizing the uh, the window tint here. That's fine. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Two-tone color. I mean, it has to be red and white. I mean, it's very uh, Volkswagen-esque to have a red and white car. But um, I'm doing it on this man truck. Oh, what's on the inside? What can you do here? Just ch change the color. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's, that's nice. And then, oh, yes. Purchase convoy equipment sure how much is it yep done oh my god look at this okay so we can enable the the convoy equipment straight up i mean i don't think we should never i don't think we shouldn't drive with that on if you know what i mean um but yeah let's get her going let's find our first mission shall we uh but first let's fill her up actually e t okay there is a floor in that the same button fills me up uh, that does my convoy. And, you know, that's not really a flaw. I would love to be filling up my truck and suddenly my convoy equipment pops out. Let's pull up here and see what we are allowed to transport with this. We have slightly more options than we did in the other one as well, which is nice. Wow, we can take a whole forklift. Is that is that what that is? Does that mean we're taking a forklift? I don't know if it does, but I think I'm going to try it. Oh, down that windy road. Is there a different way we can go? Okay, there's a... a okay. It's a lot longer, but yeah, sure. Okay, so I actually have to drive this. Is this all I need to do, though? I just need to drive this onto the back of this. Whoa. Oh, the handling's a bit... Oh, how do we... Ah, that was easy enough. Use your mouse. There's probably an Xbox controller button, but... Up we go. Yes. Ugh. Oh, and we're already chained in. Wow. Okay. Wasn't quite imagining it would do that much for me after it made me drive it out of there, but whatever. Backing up. Backing up. Oh, turn my wipers on by accident. Okay, so it's kind of saying follow the navigation, but there is none. So I'm a little bit worried that I might have to just fend for myself here. Is it going to find it now on the road? Ah, there we go. Navigation has recognized me, and it's told me I'm going the wrong way, which is just what I want to hear, or just what I want to see. 
um, right now. So I'm just going to let this guy pull out and then I'm going to do a U-turn. Ready? Oh, although, I wonder if I can just go around here. Yeah, I can. Okay, I no need to do a U-turn. Let's go. It's super fun. The world doesn't seem, like, incredibly lonely. Like, there are moments in certain simulator games where maybe traffic doesn't spawn or whatever. Um, I think the fact that you can control the density of the traffic as well is kind of fun. I've left it on its current setting, which is 12, whatever that means. I mean, I think it... I'm, I don't think it means that just 12 cars are going to spawn. Um, but, yeah, like, look, this, this guy... Uh, and the AI seems actually quite human, to be honest. Especially when they just break check you like that. I can't believe I was literally complimenting the AI and they absolutely ruined me. How embarrassing for me is that? One thing that I haven't mentioned about this game just yet is that it has a multiplayer mode. Um, which obviously I'm not playing that right now because I don't have any friends that own this game. But if you do decide to purchase this game, I'd be massively interested in playing and just seeing what the multiplayer mode's about. Oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm swerving. I'm swerving. Oh, why, why me? No, no, no. Oh my god, that was close. I don't know if maybe you just can't roll in this game, but I'm not willing to find out. Mate, I was so excited as well about having a, like a no damage run. Oh. Let's see if that's even possible now. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah. I would love to like play multiplayer in this, so let me know if... Uh, or if it's a game you actually have and you're just looking for someone to play multiplayer with, I guess. I would be massively interested in that and seeing how it runs. Because um, again, sorry to compare it uh, you know, to other simulator games, but I had so much fun playing uh, Euro Truck with uh, friends before, like highly populated servers where you could barely move in traffic. That was so fun. Just having it was literally Euro Traffic Simulator at that point, you know. Oh, for a tunnel, we haven't been for a tunnel yet. Better put our lights on for that extra measure, I guess. Then immediately, whoa, break, 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 break. Oh my god, going across this bridge as well. This this is some scenic kind of thing, you know? Damn, do the boats really move? No, the boats are parked there, right? Okay. But the water looks fairly, like, dynamic as well. Oh, this is, there's a cruise ship. Just people in this game absolutely... Cr well, I mean, I am also cruising. That ship is definitely moving as well. Maybe it's just an illusion because I'm like flying. Nah, that, that's 100% moving, that thing. Yep, that's a moving ship. Oh, my God. Oh, I just got a speed camera. No, I didn't get a speed camera. <laughs> I wish I got a speed camera because then I could catch naughty people speeding. Like me. I got caught speeding. Oh, my God. If only I had, like, I don't know, the option of unlimited money or something. Mate, I need to turn around. Okay, let's just do what you're supposed to do. What I learned on my driving test, if you take a wrong turn, don't worry. Just commit to the turn and uh, whoa, find somewhere either sensible to turn around or your sat-nav will reroute you. Oh, there was actually a space right there. Oh, or take down a sign. Okay, great. Oh, look, there's a roundabout right here as well, so we can do a little UE. Man, I must say, I really like how the interior like and the cluster lights up at night in this game. There's just something, like, I love driving at night in real life. Um, I just like the glow, I guess. Uh, but it, it genuinely feels like that. <laughs> Other than the stress of crashing and, you know, destroying my car or something like that. You know. I mean, I still have the same fear in this game. It's just minimized by the fact that it's not real. Oh, my God. Oh, that was close. Oh, look at this little village type thing. Oh, the cobbled roads. Oh my god, this is nice. This is very nice, actually. Very nice looking. Okay, so coming around here. I can't even remember what we were taking. Oh yeah, a forklift. Which, again, requires us to park straight. I'm going to try and cheat this one a little bit. we go through this gap right here. Oh, that's never going to work, is it? Although, maybe. Oh, this might just work. Oh. Yes. Oh, and only two percent damage, even with the with the crash that we had, only two percent damage. That I am extremely happy with. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's try one last vehicle. Okay, so I asked if I could stay here all night, and they actually said, "No, don't you dare." But I snuck away in this barn right here, um, because I needed to stay over because I need to be prepped for picking up my new vehicle today. So let's leave site while no one's looking. 
and we're going to switch over to the last vehicle of the video, which is kind of spoilers because I told you exactly what vehicle it was going to be at the start. But now this is a vehicle for sure too big for this city or village. I don't know what it is. Oh my god, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> Yeah, this is just a monster truck. I don't even know if we can do any jobs in this, but I needed to look at it before I ended the video. It's huge and um, hopefully fairly indestructible. I, I'm not about ruining people's days, though. So where can I go to get a job around here? All right. Sorry, bud. Whoa, whoa. It flicked me a little bit there. Okay, we don't want to get another speeding ticket, but I don't know if it's possible because this thing is so, so big. But let's see um, what jobs we can get with this if any I'm, I'm pretty sure we can and stop oh my god we totally can i don't even think these trailers are gonna fit because they're not gonna have the right kind of uh hitch should i say oh well this could work because this is wait am i am i taking a forklift or am i taking some boxes or something well, we're gonna pick this job anyway because it's super short and i think that's needed oh my god <laughs> yeah <laughs> how is this gonna work we, wait, we actually get to load... Okay, I did not know that. You get to load the thing into the vehicle. That's pretty dope. Does it count, though, if you can't reach the vehicle? We might actually fail this mission. Um, no. We absolutely will not fail this mission. Not on my watch. Oh, look at that. We can put it in. That's amazing. Pop that down there. Reverse a little bit. Pop that up, and then we're going to use that. Oh! Oh! This is easy! Like, yeah, we might be restricted to just taking boxes, and I'm not sure how that's going to fund my monster truck lifestyle. But it's just a start now. How to get... Sorry, mate. Oh, my God, you can literally drive over vehicles. <laughs> I did not think that was even going to be possible. Okay, this is where the simulator gets real fun. I mean, I guess you work towards this. Can I get around this corner? This is actually so much fun. Oh, my God. Okay. Hi, mate. I'll just pull over for you. Don't worry. Oh, th this could take a while, this delivery. I'm not going to lie. I'm tempted to try and, like, commentate through the whole thing. So it's at least something we can all watch happen together. Because I tend to kind of skip when I'm not talking because that's boring. But, yeah. All right. I, I mean, I guess when we're on the motorway, it's going to be a bit easier. Oh, my Jesus. Oh. That, that would... Oh, my God. Did that dent my truck? That's not on, man. I, I'm going to call the council about that. That is... Yeah, that's a bit out of order. What's the interior? Oh, my God. Look at this thing. This thing's cool as hell. Can we get under this? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. It's so hard to see. Oh, also, you can actually adjust your seat in this game, which is very cool. Again, that's a very cool simulator kind of thing, but um, something I never mess with, and I always regret it when I'm playing, but... I think otherwise then you have to change your seat in every single vehicle and it's just like well it's like real life I guess but a bit a little bit more tedious than real life I'm not gonna lie all right up we go Ugh. I can't see the van really in front of me but hey oh my god this is just too much fun look how cool this thing is this is this is actually awesome oh my god I wonder if we could just hop over there we're gonna try it huh! wait for it please don't roll Hmm. Okay, we we had fun. And now we are stuck. Uh, oh, F. Oh my god, they recovered me back to the motorway. How boring. <laughs> Damn it, I have to go the long way around. Which actually isn't that long. It's literally... Oh my god, look. I could have just gone right here. And then I could have turned right here again. Down on this bit of dirt. Which actually kind of feels a bit like dirt, you know? It's kind of cool. There's a donut shop. Anyone want some donuts? Nah, we'll skip it for now. Let's get this delivery done. Speed bumps. I mean, I mean, we're not really going fast enough to warrant speed bumps, but they definitely are not affected by this vehicle. Or well, this vehicle is not affected by speed bumps. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it? Was that fun? Did you have fun? Anyway, where are we loading this? Ah, right here. Here we go. Do we have to unload this as well or what? we do we might have to think about where we're parking but oh well let's just try parking here Boop. no we didn't we somehow got five percent oh well we actually i know exactly how we got five percent damage i'm not gonna lie cool continue done 
All right, that was the first look, I guess, at um, Truck and Logistics Simulator. A very fun game, I'm not going to lie. I would love to play this more. If you'd like to see me play it, or even better, would like to see me live stream it, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be more than up to uh, do that. Um, but yeah, I can definitely foresee me making more videos on this where I don't use cheats. Link for the game is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.